Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lorraine and I'm going to be covering in this video Pisces Sun with Scorpio Moon. Now I'm going to start off the video by talking about what a typical Pisces Sun is like and then I'm going to get into talking about the moon placement. So if there's some things about the sun sign that don't quite resonate or seem to quite match you personally or the person that you know with this pairing, then hang on till you hear the moon sign and then it will probably tie together quite nicely and make a lot of sense. Now before I get started, I want to let you know about a draw that I host every month. Basically, uh, people who subscribe to my channel will be entered to win a, a free astrology birth chart reading. And so if you want to find out how you can enter to win uh, that draw, then hang around to the end of the video and I will explain how to enter. That said, let's get started with Pisces. So when someone has their son in Pisces, they are generally very sensitive, caring, and just vibrant dreamers. They love to get lost in their imagination, um, probably thinking of mystical realms and spiritual stuff. You know, they, they kind of have their, their head in the clouds a little bit to a degree. And um, a lot of Pisces like to get high off of really anything whether that's high on life meditation sex drugs like you name it the pisces love to just f feel like they're ascending beyond their body sort of thing now because they have their head in the clouds a little bit pisces aren't the most observant people in the world and that's why they kind of have the reputation or the stereotype of being kind of gullible or not really knowing what's going on, you know, humor goes over their head. Uh, and that's one of the reasons. Uh, the other reason is that, um, is that Pisces just assume the best in people and they just, they take things very literally and they always assume that whoever is talking to them or approaching them has good intentions and is being honest. They just always assume that people are being honest with them and so that's why stuff like sarcasm will kind of go over their head and they'll not really get it. So that's kind of where the, the, the naive uh, uh, stereotype comes into play with Pisces. Pisces really care about others. They are the last sign of the zodiac and so they tend to be quite self-sacrificial. The whole mythology of the zodiac is that Pisces like sacrificed itself and then birthed Aries which is the first sign of the zodiac and so it's a it's a self-sacrificial sign and they always have this ten they have this tendency to always put other people's needs and wants ahead of their own which can be really great in that they're just a really great person and they'll really give their all in helping others but the reality is that most a lot of people don't return the favor uh and so this does like can a lot of the time result in Pisces getting taken advantage of because they're just always giving and always wanting to help people and they're never putting their own needs or wants first uh, and so then they kind of get like burnt out or just spread too thin because they're giving so much to other people and not really getting the same or as much or anything in return sometimes. I think every Pisces has a a rude awakening or a sobering moment in life where they realize that not everyone is as generous or self-sacrificial or just yeah just selfless as them or willing to help other people and so this can kind of lead to some pisces becoming um bitter or manipulative or substance abuse is a common one with pisces and and that's where like the negative stereotypes that you may have heard about Pisces are that they're manipulative. And I find that this is usually the case because of them having been burned too many times of, I don't, not many Pisces, you know, start out that way. Pisces don't start out being manipulative and abusing substances or what have you. They, they get there because their kind nature has been taken advantage of one too many times. And they, they then assume that everyone has like bad intentions. That said though, um, Pisces are just really loving, kind-hearted, generous people that aren't very observant and may seem like they kind of have like one foot in another realm. I, I find Pisces has a hard time, uh, being present. They, are always kind of, their mind is always kind of off, not where they currently are. You know, they can be doing one thing and then thinking about this. Then they can be doing that other thing and thinking about the other one. So they sometimes have a hard time, I think, being present uh, in what they're like in real life. You're having two feet planted firmly on earth. Pisces thinks that the world will just be 
a much better place if the world if everyone just got along right they want everyone to get along and they hate conflict and so they're kind of like you know the sign of the of Pisces is a fish and so as soon as there's conflict they're kind of like a slimy little fish you can't catch them and they have a tendency to see life and people uh, if they haven't been burned too many times, if they're like a healthy Pisces, they, they tend to kind of have a very rosy-eyed view of things and kind of expect the best in people. Like I said, they're expecting people to have good intentions. They're expecting people to be completely honest with them, and that's not always the case. And Pisces will also be the kind of person that will, you know, have people that just take advantage of them then are not very good people, but they... Are, keep thinking that no like I, I see that they're actually a good person underneath the surface or like I know they have good in them and sometimes like that's not really the case like it may I'm sure like all people are capable of good but Pisces just hangs in and tries to like see the best of people even if it's not necessarily there and as a result they kind of that's where they get taken advantage of is because they they don't want to ever think that someone is a lost cause and so they will get burned and burned and keep trying to like and keep believing that no actually like this person is a good person but for this and this reason they do it you know Pisces are really good at justifying um, why people do what they do and why people are not great sometimes you know if if Pisces knows someone or other people that do bad things or hurt other people or hurt that Pisces then the Pisces is really good at justifying like oh it's okay you know they you know got left at the store when they were a kid and their dad didn't love them enough so you know I it's not really their fault and so Pisces is really good at justifying other people's actions um, even when they're like the brunt of those actions and so basically the best course of action for Pisces is to learn to put their own wants and needs ahead of other people and to start like developing boundaries. Boundaries is a huge one for Pisces that is difficult to learn because they want to be one with everything and everyone and they want to be part of this, you know, this unity in this collective consciousness and one with the earth and one with other people and everything and they just want to be united and everything and so it's difficult for them to learn boundaries because they don't know where the other person ends and they begin and that is kind of the the thing that pisces needs to learn is to develop boundaries and have a clear set uh, boundary of where they are and where the other person is and learn to start satisfying their own wants and needs because not everyone is as like selfless and sacrificial as they are and that you know even if people do have a reason for their actions that you know they don't have to be the brunt of it they don't have to stick around and hang around these people that treat them this way they may have their reasons but that does not mean that they themselves have to be the brunt or the punching bag or the doormat for this person So I'm going to get to the moon placement, but first I wanted to let you know about a free training that I have officially released. I'm really excited about it. So if you are wanting to learn even more about yourself and how you can use astrology to better understand yourself and discover your purpose, then I think you're going to really love the free training that I made. It's basically detailing all about how you can use astrology to better your life and, and discover your purpose and live a fulfilling life that is unique to you based off of astrology and if you watch the training then you can book a call to learn even more about it and how I can help you further and I'll, I'll, there's also a bunch of bonus resources that you can get access to completely for free these will be great resources to help get you started and see if you're interested in my full program 60 days to a life of purpose I'm really excited about this program that I created I know it's gonna help a lot of people and I am now accepting students so if you're interested I'm running a special promo so from now until March 20 27th 2021 the first five students that enroll will get 50% off the price so if that interests you I'll leave a link in the description in the meantime let's get back to today's moon sign so now we get to Scorpio moon so Scorpio moons are very intense passionate driven and observant they're really able to overcome 
challenges and hurdles that life throws in their way because of their persistence and their willpower. Uh, they tend to kind of have a mysterious vibe about them because Scorpio moons don't easily trust people. They don't easily let people in. And so they're pretty, and they're pretty is easily able to kind of mask how they truly feel. They can also be quite jealous and possessive. Uh, that's the negative tendency of Scorpio moons. Um, when it comes to like love and dating, they're, they're quite jealous and possessive and they, they don't like to be controlled though, but they love to be in control. So it can be slightly hypocritical in that capacity, but, uh, and then because they have so many like intense emotions and they don't easily let people in and they have a tendency to kind of mask how they're feeling, they can be uh, a little brooding. And Scorpios don't easily, they don't easily forgive. They tend to hold on to grudges for a long time, sometimes maybe even waiting for revenge. And that's because they're really intense. Like they're really intense and they have a lot of emotions and because they don't easily trust people, they don't let easily let people in. So then if they do finally let someone in and then that person like betrays their trust in some kind of way, even if it's small, um, they don't they don't easily forgive that now this is in some ways similar and in other ways different from pisces pisces is is really forgiving and they kind of don't mask how they feel really at all um on the other hand they are really emotionally driven the scorpio definitely adds a little more mysteriousness i guess uh more secrecy to the Pisces and a lot more intensity. Um, so this is like a Pisces that has a lot more like uh, intense feelings and a lot more like persistence and willpower. And they're probably not the kind of person that will stick up for themselves in the moment. Um, but I could see, so if they get taken advantage of or spread too thin too many times, uh, I could see the Scorpio moon holding a grudge and um, plotting out revenge in some way as opposed to sticking up. They're not really going to stick up for themselves in the moment. They're going to kind of take it and like wait for their chance. The Scorpio moon definitely makes this person more observant than a typical Pisces. And I see this being a very intuitive person, someone who is deeply spiritual, uh, maybe even has psychic abilities. Someone who has a lot of emotions, they could often get overwhelmed by their emotions. So it'd be important for them to have some kind of outlet for them to express all of their feelings. Uh, and I see them being someone who, who needs deep connections with a person or maybe a couple people. I see them keeping their circle small when it comes to having those, those deep connections with people. They're not the kind of person that will be able to have deep connections with a lot of people because like I mentioned, the Scorpio moon is pretty picky about who they let into their life, um, which will help the Pisces because Pisces tends to kind of let everyone into their life. So I think this is a person who will be more discerning about the people they let into their life. And so they'll have those deep connections with maybe a small circle of people or maybe even just one person. So that is all I have planned for today's video. As promised, if you want to know how to enter into a draw and potentially win a free birth chart reading from myself for this month, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and then comment below letting me know that you have done so and then give me some sort of topic or some astrology thing that you would like to learn. That's going to be really helpful for me making content. I love making the sun moon combinations, but I'm wanting to start making some more content. So if you have ideas of stuff that you would like to learn, or if you just simply have a question, I could make a question and answer video if that interests people. So to enter the free astrology birth chart reading, subscribe and comment below letting me know um, uh, astrology questions or a video that you would like me to make in the future and then you will be entered to win the draw for the end of March. That is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.